Now that you have some ideas for goals you want to work towards, where will you find the money to achieve these goals? The first step is to get a clear picture of your current finances, how much money you have coming in and uh, how much money you are spending each month, right? The tracking your spending as you go can be difficult. Um, you might forget to record some purchases or you might be tempted to change your habits when, um, when you know you are keeping track of your finances, right? Past spending can be more accurate because you can't go back and change what you have already done. It is very important to understand that if you are short on cash, you want to make sure that you only spend money on things that you need, like food, housing, transportation. What you can do is locate uh, your most recent monthly bank um, and credit card statements or if your past month was unusual, use a statement that best reflects your regular monthly finances and spending. For the next example, it is very useful to use the spending detective worksheet, um, this one. If you don't have it, I will reference it in the resources section or if you are watching a recording, you can find a link in the description of this video and you can get it from there. You can also keep track of your spending using one of the personal finance platforms like Mint, Quicken, or a spreadsheet or any other platform. So let's make sense of this resource. Uh, be a spending detective. Gather the evidence, begin at the top of your bank statement. If you have more than one statement, then repeat this process for all your accounts and uh, combine them into one list. So number one, one by one, look at every item that took money out of your account. Every bill you paid, every check, purchase, debit, cash, withdrawal, etc. And put it in one of these three columns. Number two, don't overlook fees or other charges from your bank. For now, uh, put this in the regular payments or needs column. If you know you get cash back on purchases, consider the cash as a separate transaction. For example, if you got $40 in cash on top of a $50 grocery bill, you might list the $50 grocery as a need, but the $40 cash as a want. Make calculations.